Gary, the team are back in action this weekend after a weekend off. Was it a welcome break or, or were you eager, eager to continue the momentum? Yeah, we'd like to have continued with uh, you know, the game programme and the momentum, as you say, but on the flip side of that, we were able to give the players some recovery. So um, we won't know if it's worked or not until we get back into the game. So, But <clears throat> at the time with the Christmas and New Year period being very, very busy, um, the timing of that was probably right for us. Excellent United visit the Ebb Stadium this weekend. It'd be good to get back on home turf. Yeah, well, it will be good, yeah, and also we'll welcome back, um, you know, one or two ex-players as well, with uh, Dave Winfield, who I know very, very well, and uh, Aaron McLean as well, so uh, two very, very good players, talented players, and both serve the club very, very well when they're here, um, so it'd be nice to see them also. Edfleet are still doing well, they're, they're in 10th place, I think they're away form has tailed off, but in their last away league game, they, they won at Maidstone, which, as we all know, is, is no easy feat. Mm -hmm. FA Trophy defeat on Tuesday night in the replay. How, how do you assess them? Well, I was at the Maidstone game. I saw the game. Um, yeah, they've done well. It's a good uh, result for them. But it's about what happens on Saturday, you know, um, and we've got to make sure that we're, we're right back on it again, obviously with the last weekend not being a game, so we have to get back on the, the horse and uh, make sure that we're right. With that break, you say it's, it's a welcome rest for the players, but do you have to do a little bit more to get them back into the game frame of mind, immediately up to kick off to ensure the team do start well? Um, they're a good you know, bunch of uh, lads and they'll know it's uh, game time come three o'clock Saturday, so uh, we're ready, we'll be ready for it when it comes around. We have one piece of sad news over Christmas with the passing of former chairman Chris McKayla. We honour him on Saturday with a minute's applause before the game. You met him a couple of times. Yeah, very sad news and obviously uh, for his family as well. Our thoughts are with them at this uh, difficult uh, period for them. But I think it's uh, only right and fitting that the club give um, Chris that minute's uh, applause on Saturday. I think it's, uh, it's only right that we do that. Absolutely and so say all of us. Good news this week, you're able to uh, bring back Fabian Ribeiro on loan from Forest Green. He's, he's not yet match fit, but it's great to have him back for the, long, for the longer term. Yeah, it was important. Um, the deal, we had to do the deal at the time uh, to get him until the end of the season. Um, he's a few weeks away, uh, so don't all of a sudden expect him to run out on Saturday at three o'clock. So, uh, but we're delighted to have him back, you know, everybody saw you know the the player and the quality that he brings uh, to the group uh, when he when he's fit uh, we had that initial period at the beginning where we had to get him up to speed but um yeah delight that we got him back but obviously with uh, mark butler and the 500 club you know it's been very very helpful uh, you know mark's done some great work there but i have to thank everybody who's put their hand in their pocket um, over a, an expensive Christmas period, New Year period, to be able to um, allow us to bring in uh, the players that we've already brought in. In that, that it has been a great help, and that, that money has been spent wisely. Oh, most definitely. You know, the players that we've been able to bring in have, you know, obviously improved the group. So, um, you know, we're always on the lookout, um, and we've, you know, that money that's been generated uh, through Butts has been fantastic, and. We're on the lookout, we're always looking, but also we have to be very mindful of the fact that you're only allowed five lone players on the team sheet. So um, I'm not going to waste that money. It's, uh, it's important. It's uh, been difficult for everybody to put that together. So uh, I'm going to be very mindful of the fact that uh, whoever comes in, whoever we can get in, have got to be the right type. And we have to make sure that we don't waste that money. As I've just stated, you can only have five lone players on the team sheet. Another player moved on with our best wishes last week, Bernard Mensa getting getting his move into into the Football League, a club you know in Bristol Rovers, and he, he credited your your knowledge of the club in maybe helping him make that move. He leaves with our best wishes. Well, he does, yeah. You know, The club that he's going to, Bristol Rovers, is a good club. It's a big club. Um, as you said, I, I played there, so I know what the club's like. The fan base is great, uh, very similar to ours, passionate and right behind the club, but um, I'm delighted for Mentz, he's, he's been uh, 
he's been excellent since he's been here. Is he going to be missed? 100% he's going to be missed, you know, not just the, his playing side, but his character, uh, what he brings to the dressing room. Um, disappointed that we've lost him, obviously, because he's a very, a very good player and a, a very nice guy as well at the same time. But we can't stand in his way. He's gone from, you know, the National League to League One and we wish him all the best and he'll be back here uh, supporting us, that's for sure, and he's already told me that. So, uh, yeah, I'm really pleased for him, but on, on the flip side, you know, disappointed because I'd like to have kept him, but that's the way football goes. And that, you say he's going to come back as a supporter whenever he can, mm -hmm. to create that connection with the club from never, never having visited Aldershot Town when you signed him, mm -hmm. to now being a fan of the club, that's credit to what everybody's done with Bernard, yourself, with everybody around the club to have created that affinity? Yeah, definitely. And I, and I think, you know, a number of people would say, and not only Mints, that once you've been involved with the club and played for the club and been associated with the club, you don't forget it, you know, and um, he's uh, an example of that, you know, he's he struck up a fantastic relationship with the, the supporters um, and he'll come back and support the guys. Um, I know he'll come back for this season, that's for sure. And um, yeah, well, it'd be really nice to, to see him. But we've, you know, everyone stayed in contact with him. I think uh, he's probably missing us already. But uh, we wish him good luck. Another player moving on. Mark Smith made his loan move at Eastbourne Borough permanent. That's a good move for him. He needs game time to to build himself back up. Yeah, it is, like Smith, he needed to play games. As simple as that. You know, he was. Um, he played a, a few games last year. Uh, he got a couple this year, but in term, for his development, he's got to play. You know, the age he is, he's got to play games. And we had a conversation not so long ago regarding that. And um, you know, he's gone to Eastbourne now, and we wish him all the very best. And uh, it's 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 right what he's done. He needs the game time, and uh, good luck to him. You've already said it here that you're, you're a manager is always looking to strengthen his squad. But even though the January transfer window doesn't restrict you too much, you're still you're still looking in this period? Yeah, we're looking all the time. Um, and if we can improve uh, the group, we will. If it, we can get players in that are going to help the group, we'll do that. But they have to be the right type. Um, so, but we're always looking. So, uh, let, don't know what's going to happen over the next couple of weeks, but um, let's wait and see. One or two might come in, or we might just have to uh, be patient with what we're trying to achieve here. Specifically for Saturday, how is the squad looking fitness-wise? Um, healthier than what it has been over <laughs> over recent weeks. So uh, with the with the break as well last week, it gave us that extra week. So um, yeah, we're okay. Excellent. Thank you, Gary. We'll see you on Saturday. Thank you.